Hey, what's going on? Uh, this is one of the first videos that I'm doing. Um, it is Sunday, uh, let me see, <laughs> October the 1st, um, and one of the topics we're going to be discussing today is uh, Islam here in Canada and in the USA and uh, with what's going on in Europe. Um, so I've been studying Islam uh, off and on for about mm, seven years now and uh, there was a period in time where I worked for uh, some people from the Middle East who were Islamic and uh, they were uh, quite stout people and very firm in their beliefs. Uh, Al Jazeera was on the TV all day every day and uh, I had to listen to their opinions about everything in regards to the matters in the world and government. Um, I did a lot of research uh, online, reading books, um, YouTube, various different channels, and uh, I've come to my own conclusions in regards to some of these things. Um, sure, there are Muslims that are okay people, and they're just technically a Muslim, and you know they were baptized that or whatever, and that's what they are, and they're not a full believer. In the Quran or Muhammad, uh, however, they are uh, an apparent Muslim. Um, the radical Muslims and the moderate Muslims are pretty much the same thing. I mean, when you take a moderate Muslim and a radical Muslim and you sit them down side by side and you pull out the Quran and you start questioning them about different passages in regards to what they think about them and different things about Muhammad nine times out of ten or ten times out of ten they're both going to agree upon the same thing and have the same beliefs um, their culture uh, and, and the way that they've been brought up and taught things over in the Middle East in these Muslimic countries are completely different uh, in regards to Western culture and I've argued with Muslim people online and in person telling them that if they're going to immigrate to our countries then they have to respect our laws and our beliefs and assimilate to our ways and a lot of them are very argumentative and they feel that they don't need to assimilate and they say fuck you we don't need to assimilate and uh, they have this idea that the rest of the world or where we live is basically their promised land and they deserve the right to come here and do whatever they want and impose their ways upon us and we have to deal with it because they're superior and we're like under their foot basically and the Quran teaches that and Muhammad taught that and is very unfortunate um, you know the whole everything about Islam is terrible you know they degrade women uh, women have to cover up women can't drive you know, nobody can listen to music. Uh, women have to be separate from men. Um, there's the whole female genital mutilation, which is still widely practiced to this day. And it's made its way to America, and it's made its way to Canada. Um, and for those of you who aren't familiar with what female genital mutil mutilation is, excuse me, um, it's when the female uh, baby is born, they take a razor blade and they cut the clitoris off and then they trim up some of the vagina lips and then they scrape all the skin around the vagina to kill all the nerve endings so literally the female will have absolutely no sexual pleasure in her life at all and she can basically just be used for a slave and for for breeding uh, to have a child and this is widespread it's an epidemic and it's happening all the time and uh, everybody turns a blind eye to it you know um, as far as I'm concerned from the experiences that I've had in the past and from what I've read uh, the Quran or Islam is not a religion of peace at all it's a religion of leaving you in pieces if you don't agree with what they're saying uh, it's unexcusable, you know, it's it's a religion of deceit and hate. 
and it's not even really a religion, it's more or less an ideology. Um, they teach you in the Quran that, you know, anybody who isn't a Muslim is inferior and uh, they should basically be killed or, you, you know, imposed to pay a tax, which is the jizya, uh, which means that, you know, you're a subhuman and you're allowed to live under the Islam or the Muslims. However, because you have different or beliefs, you have to pay them money in order to be kept alive. Otherwise, you're, you'll basically be killed. Um, if you practice any other religion and you don't pay them the tax in a lot of these countries, you will be killed. If you are a homosexual, you will be killed. If you are a lesbian, you will be killed. If you are a transgender, you will be killed. And this isn't a joke. This is the truth. This is what's really happening in the world in a lot of different countries. And for some reason, people in America and Canada and a lot of parts of Europe, they just won't accept it or realize it. And it's really happening. Everybody is like a bunch of over-politically correct social justice warrior snowflakes you know, acting like Antifa, uh, dancing around like everything's okay, and just, you know, sticking up for these people. And it's not okay. You know, I really suggest that you do your research and you do your homework before you come to a conclusion in regards to how you portray or feel about Islam and Muslims. I mean, there's so many terrible people, like Linda Sarsour, and on and on and on. And people talk about, oh, Islam, it's a religion of peace, it's a religion of peace. It's not a religion of peace. Trust me, it's the farthest thing from that. And they say, oh, the, well, what about this, what about that? Well, you can't just little tidbits out of the fucking Quran and just push everything else aside and pretend like it doesn't exist. Like... On a percentage scale, there's probably like 5 or 10% of stuff in the Quran that's actually, you know, kind of all right. And then the, the whole rest of it is all garbage. Like, come on, flying goats and, uh, you know, if you follow the word of Allah and Muhammad, then you'll be rewarded with 72 virgins to defile once you go to heaven. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. And people don't even know who Muhammad really was and what he did. Muhammad was a rapist, a pedophile, and a murderer. And they went around just chopping and slicing and killing everybody who didn't agree with their ways. I mean, Muhammad married a six-year-old girl, and he started having sex with her when she was nine. And that's just what they say. I mean... He was probably having sex with her on their wedding night. And all of Muhammad's counterparts were doing that too. And all over the Middle East and different parts of the world where Islam is really rampant, people are still doing that to this day. I mean, I've read stories and watched stories about little girls in these countries that get married off to older men, and they get so brutalized sexually on their wedding night that they get internal bleeding and they die. Like, this is not a joke this is really going on you know and the Quran teaches hatred it teaches deceit it teaches that it's okay to lie and deceive as long as it's in the name of Allah that's going to help your fellow Muslims in the long run uh, I mean it, it's truly satanic it's a really terrible religion and uh, I just I, I don't even know what to say about it you know, I just, I get so upset because I've been doing so much digging and reading for so long. And, you know, I, I, I know people who, who actually were defenders or are defenders of Islam who actually have a Quran. And I would, like, re recite certain scriptures out of the book and tell them stories about Muhammad and true facts. And they were, their minds were blown. They had no fucking idea. It's like, what are you people defending when you don't even understand what it truly really is you know and 
it's terrible. It's terrible. I mean, they're coming here, and uh, in America, for instance, these guys have compounds, like literally. They have compounds where they're all getting trained with army tactics and machine guns and bombs and knife fighting and martial arts, uh, you know, waiting for an apparent uprise that they're planning to have here on our own soil. And President Trump and all these different people, I mean, they know these places are here in the U.S. and probably even in Canada, and nobody's doing anything about it. Um, there are so many terrorist organizations uh, linked to Islam in Canada, the U.S., and all over Europe. It's not even funny. Um, it's gone to the point where there are so many Muslim people and so many hardcore Islamists all around Europe that Europe isn't really Europe anymore. And if you walk around France, if you walk around Germany, if you walk around, you know, pretty much anywhere over there, it's all dark-skinned Arabic people and black people. Not that I'm racist. I mean, I am pro immigration to a point but when it starts destroying your countries because they're outnumbering the people and pushing any other religion or belief out of the way then I truly think there is a problem and I mean ever since this big mass migration started a few years back um, there's been nothing but problems I mean can't you people wake up and see what's going on in your own countries like bombing after bombing after bombing, terrorist attack after terrorist attack after terrorist attack, attack, murder after murder after murder, you know, rape gangs, pedophilia, the list goes on. I mean, I turned the TV on the other day, I, all I see is attack after attack after attack, you know. I mean, what, London's had, like, seven terrorist attacks in, like, what, less than a year? And look at Germany, and look at France, and look at Sweden. And all these people, the, the, the regular, like, white people who live in these areas, they're all adjusting to it, and they're all acting like it's okay because it's been happening for so many years that people are just kind of like, oh, whatever, you know, another terrorist attack, oh, well. I mean, it's fucking insane. You can't be talking like that and thinking like that. Like, I'm in Canada, and it's really starting to get bad over here right now. I mean, Justin Trudeau is a pansy-ass pushover. Uh, he let a bunch of different, like, stout Muslims get into the Canadian government. And in Canada, you can say whatever you want about a Jew. You can say whatever you want about a Christian. You can say whatever you want about a Sikh. You can say whatever you want about any goddamn religion you want. But you say one fucking thing about a Muslim, and you're a racist, and you're an Islamophobe, and you should be charged, and you should go to jail, when these are the most negative people that are treating our country like garbage and treating our people like garbage. And they come here, and they think that they're the best things in sliced bread, and everything should be their way or the highway, and all of our beliefs and all of our religions should just be thrown in, in the garbage and cast aside. And it's really fucking unreal, you know? And, uh, I mean, in Edmonton, there was a bunch of Muslims that were sexually molesting girls in the pool in the West Edmonton Mall. Uh, there's things going on in Ontario all the time that we never hear about. Uh, today, uh, in Edmonton, um, apparently uh, an illegal immigrant Muslim came and rented a U-Haul truck and drove through a bunch of people at a uh, football uh game in the parking lot for the Edmonton Eskimos and then he like jumped out and uh, stabbed the shit out of a police officer and put him in the hospital and, and he, you know and this is the type of shit that keeps happening I mean when you watch the news when you listen to the radio when you go on the internet and you do your homework you often see that almost nine times out of ten or a hundred ninety eight point nine percent of all the terrorist things that happen in the entire world are all because of Muslims and Islam. And the only reason that anybody in their right mind would defend Islam or stick up for Islam or believe in the Quran 
is simply because they are arrogant, ignorant, and uneducated, and they haven't done their homework, and they don't really know what's going on. And I don't care. I don't care. I'm not a racist. I've been called that before. I even, like I said, I worked for some Muslim people for five years, and when I told them that I hated Islam and I didn't like Muslims for the most part, he freaked out and called me a racist. And I said, no, 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 no. Just, just, just wait, just wait. I'm not a racist. I don't care about the color of a person's skin or where they're, or where they're from. What I do care about is their religion and what they believe in. And I don't believe in that, and it doesn't, it doesn't jive with me. You know, so all that being said, I, I truly do believe we have a problem and, you know, I, I, consider, uh, I consider myself, uh, I'm not a racist, I'm not part of the KKK, I do not endorse the KKK or neo-Nazis or white supremacy, however, aside from that, I would consider myself to be uh, closer to the right wing, uh, conservative, patriotic, Canadian, who cares about my country and our laws and putting our people first before we start worrying about all these refugees and immigrants that are coming into our country. I mean, we have so many problems with homelessness and drugs and uh, Aboriginal communities that are in turmoil, who need help, and people like the Inuits and all the people, natives and people in the north part of Canada who are living in slums, who can barely afford to pay for food, you know, and we got so many problems, you know, with the education system, and yeah, we're, we're worrying about bringing all these other people into our country, and we're putting our own people second when we should be putting our own people first, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. There's nothing wrong with being patriotic and caring about your country and caring about your people and putting yourselves first. It doesn't make you a racist. It doesn't make you a bigot. It doesn't make you a neo-Nazi. You know, it's ridiculous. And as far as I'm concerned, these, this whole Antifa movement is a giant pile of fucking bullshit. It's bullshit. That's exactly what it is. I mean... A lot of these Antifa people are young, misguided, brainwashed youth who don't really understand the world and they're rebellious and they feel like they want to be part of something. So they're going out of their way to rebel, kind of like little spoiled preteens and teens, you know, going against their parents' wishes is basically what it is. And they believe in communism, yet they don't really know what communism really is. And uh, if they actually knew what communism was and, you know, what Stalin did and uh, how many millions if not billions of people that he killed, you know, before Hitler, uh, they would change their tune. I mean, communism never really worked. I mean, how can you believe in something that was worse than, than Hitler? Like, I really don't understand. Uh... And a lot of these Antifa people, they, their reviews or ideas are mixed up and they're not right. They think that, uh, you know, we're racists, we're bigots, we're this, we're that. And, I mean, in the American side of things, they're not, like, the government isn't really hating immigrants and banning immigrants. He, he, Trump is basically just trying to put his foot down and slow the roll of a lot of stout Muslim people that are coming from these Islamic Muslim countries because there, there are problems, and it is a threat to America and Canada. And we or he doesn't hate Mexican people. He just wants them to come into the country properly, you know, and be vetted, like, you know, the most pretty much any country in the world if you want to change countries and go into another country you got to do it properly right you got to go through the screening process you got to do your paperwork you got to do this you got to do that rarely anywhere you can't you, you know you can't just show up and be like i'm here and walk in like you own the place and start making demands it doesn't work like that you know it so yeah i just uh, i'm really 
pissed off in regards to many things that deal with uh, Islam and uh, immigration and uh, Antifa. And uh, yeah, that's about all. <clears throat> excuse me. That's about all I have to say about it today. Uh, I'm a little bit sick. I'm not feeling very well. I'm a little bit out of it. So. Yeah, this will be my video. Oh, shit. Thanks, guys.